Well, good morning. Good morning. We uh, had a pretty mild night last night. I think it's about 30 degrees. Donnie's enjoying his coffee. Yeah, trying to get a little java into me. Uh, kind of hot right now. Yeah, she's just boiling. Oh, dear. We got one breakfast plated over here. Stevie's about ready to drive that into him. Oh, yeah, he's buttering up his bread. And... Yeah. We got another one just about ready to get plated over here. But I'm not cooking for Donnie this morning. He's on his own. Yeah, I'm on a oatmeal cake. I've cooked on. enough breakfast for him yeah. lately. No. <laughs> Don Donnie's breakfast is right here in this pot. You want yeah, me to warm that up any in, quicker? In, no, that's all right. Yeah. I'm no hurry. Instant oatmeal this morning. Yep. Yeah. Which isn't bad, but he likes the double boiled oatmeal a lot better. Yeah. Donnie got me on double boiled oatmeal a couple years back with the old double boiler and it yeah, is good. It's the best. Thank you. Yeah. It's like I don't know why it tastes so much better. I don't either. Why does it taste so much better, Donnie? I don't know. I don't know why either, but you know that's the way they used to do it years ago. Yeah, it's Yeah. Maybe it's a mental thing. But. No, no, it, it does taste better. It's not like wet or soggy, but it's right. you know it's, it's like the right the, texture. The instant oatmeal probably take all the nutrients out of it to, to make it. Yeah, that instance. That instant kind of just is what it is. We're gonna we're gonna accomplish a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. <laughs> The soffit vents, so we're, we're gonna get those in. Uh, my my big thing is and only thing is probably putting some wrap around the outhouse. Good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Good luck. I I, I get the limited supply of staples. Yeah. Some roofing nails. Roofing nails. But other than that, it's gonna be a pretty easy day. Yeah. Nope, we gotta get that. Um, I gotta run Stevie out at some point. Uh, the soft events will be huge. Getting something the mice can't chew through. And then I gotta, I gotta measure up. The, that outhouse. We're gonna measure that up to see what we need for left for oh, that. Yeah. And for insulation. Yeah. Yeah. And did you already put the toilet out there? Yeah, I did. You did? Oh, yeah. it smells. Yeah. It's all set up. Yeah. All ready to run. Do you use it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they give you a little stand you have to mm -hmm. climb up onto to get onto the top of the toilet. Oh, really? It oh. sits up high. Yeah. Huh. But you you said you can't. You have to go direct flow with the vent pipe. You can't put an elbow in it or anything. It says you can't use an elbow in the vent. Ah. It has to go straight up. Which probably would be okay. If, I don't know. Yeah. If there was ever an issue and someone tried to say it didn't work, right? They'd say, well, you have an elbow in your vent, that's why. Right, yeah. That would void the warranty. Yeah. Did Greg ever use this? No. No, he, that room is just a storage room, you know. Well, no, I didn't ever even use it. Yeah. No. Thanks for cooking, Joe. Oh, my pleasure. I love it. So they provided a bag of that compost. Mm hmm With it. So how often do you have to change that? I wonder. Just from talking to people that have camps yeah. that use it here and there. <clears throat> it's like once a year. Really? Not very often, yeah. Uh, Depending on how much you, I mean, if how much you use, if you guys are here for a couple months at a yeah. time, then I mean, if you, you have to do it a little more often. But. Right, if you were at a camp where you all summer, yeah, you know, probably, probably do it more. It more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we figured to insulate it because 
you know, most of our time here is probably going to be during cold weather. Mm -hmm. And you have to have it above 55 degrees, I think, for yeah. it to work properly or something. If you're going to be composting in the cold, you'd have to have it above. And do you have to maintain that heat or just... They say if you limit it, if you do limited use in the winter, you can just, it'll just be like a holding tank. Yeah. And then when the, when it warms up, then you can add your stuff and do the, do the mix and... I just don't know how much it holds. You know, you don't want to get to a point where there's too much in there and, you know, yeah. you get another two weeks on a trip. Yeah. So I think, I think it's just trial and error. We'll just see, right. you yeah. know, how, how much use we get out of it before we need to compost it. Yeah. And it's basically a little hand crank. You just crank it over. Oh, really? And it mixes the compost material in with, you know, the waste. Yeah. And then I think you maybe pull a drawer and it settles down and you push a drawer over and then what like like I said once a year. Oh, it's like a drawer that you, that you. I'll have to read up on. I got letters yeah. up here. I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure, yeah. but ah. you pull something out and go and dump Empty it in it. the woods or wherever, yeah. and then put the put the tray back in. So do you need a permit to empty it anywhere <laughs> in the North Main Woods? <laughs> no, they didn't say we did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really surprised at that because up here in the North Main Woods, <laughs> the animals don't uh, don't go to the bathroom up here because they need a permit. <laughs> when Woody was running the, the camps in the Lobster Lake, he would try to get in there the end of April, mm -hmm. and. And that was the time we'd hit those honey pockets on the roads. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh my God. Stink right to the frame. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've been in them mm -hmm. several times. Yeah. Oh, no fun. And the road, the funniest thing is, the road looks perfectly fine. Yeah, it looks right. perfectly flat. You'd never know that. The right, there would be a, mm -hmm. Even the golden road was yeah. that way. You know, mm -hmm. you'd hit those. Yeah. Pockets. <clears throat> Did you ever meet Woody or no? No. You would have loved him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. He had a wicked, wicked dry sense of humor or something. <laughs> it was so funny though. <laughs> yeah. I still laugh about the time. You have him carry all that trapping equipment? <laughs> in a five-gallon bucket? Yeah, you only use one drop. <laughs> 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 Just the look on his face must have been priceless. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Could have put that in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was funny. Of course you don't know. Trap it if you're gonna need everything in the bucket, you know? Right. <laughs> it all depends on the day. Yeah, you gotta have it if you need it. Yep. <laughs> was uh was that Woody that was <clears throat> with Donnie that day when we took a ride over to yep. his camp? So that would have been the only Yeah, we time just missed him. Yeah. For some reason you guys left early. Oh really? Yeah. Around Thanksgiving, right? It was Thanksgiving week and I think it was Wednesday. Yeah. Because you oh. shot your deer on Monday and I shot mine on Tuesday and I think the next day we went took a ride over. Huh. But your uh, your ice blocks were still right in the by the camp, like you dumped your coolers out. Oh really? Yeah. Huh. So it was Yeah, you left either that morning or the day night before. Yeah. yeah. But I wanna say you guys have left early for some reason. Yeah. I think the most enjoyable, well, there's a lot of good enjoyable times with them. You know, we would tend out on Lobster Lake and deer hunt. Mm -hmm. The end of October when you were able to hunt a week early up here than you were in southern Maine. Oh, yeah. And we'd canoe in, set up camp, and it was just a blast. You know, hunted on Lobster Mountain and yeah. the side of Lobster Mountain. It was really good hunting, that you know, we like took deer out of there about every year. Did you? Yeah. Hmm. And uh, it was just fun. Yeah. It would have snow that week. Wow. Yeah. October. The last week yeah. of October. Wow. And, and in general, we'd 
come out breaking ice in the river. Yeah. Lobster stream. Wow. Huh. Yeah. It's a different. Yeah. I mean, look at look at it now. How mild it is. Yeah. But that was enjoyable. And then the time we stayed up to camp for five weeks and trapped. Yeah. That was fun. I bet. Was that the lobster camp or? No, we stayed at Greg's camp. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> that was when I went down visit him. I thought I was going to get him. I was yelling, <laughs> Main day one! <laughs> I found him on the door. Nothing happens, I pound even harder. Main game one, come out, hands up! <laughs> when Woody opens the door and he goes, Oh, yo, hold on, we gotta put our hearing aids in. <laughs> both of them put their hearing aids in, they go, What'd you say? <laughs> uh, they didn't bother each other because they both couldn't hear. Right! <laughs> uh, you guys caught some muskrat that year, didn't you? Yeah, we caught quite a few. Back that year, I think that was the year I caught 26 coyote. We caught 26 wow. coyote. Wow, that's good. I caught four or five at one set, one particular set. Wow. <coughs> it must have been a whole family because there were a lot of young ones in it. Yeah. But it, it's funny when they get caught. I, I think I only remember one that thrashed around. Most of them will just hunch down and yeah. mm -hmm. stay calm. Yeah. You don't look, look them directly in the eye, they'll lay right there. Yeah. But I enjoyed the river, you know, muskrat mm -hmm. trapping. We use. That was fun. Set up rounds with the poles in the ground and with it. Well, I, I sometimes I use the floating. I I make a float, oh. put a trap on it with a little greenery and yeah. bait. Oh, okay. I use apple as a bait. Huh. You can just take a board, yeah. a pine board, yeah. and float, and then climb up on it. They like to get on something that's oh, like okay. dry. Mm -hmm. And you throw a foothold right in the middle of it, and you put some bait on there too, because they'll eat on those. Mm -hmm. And then they step in the foothold and get scared and then jump in the water. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Game over. Yeah. So I used to colony traps. You know, we'd stake off little streams that were coming into the West Branch mm -hmm. and put a colony trap, which has doors on both either end. Yeah. So you, they swim in and then the door shuts behind them. Oh, uh, yeah. It's just a. Yeah. At times I'd have four in there at one time. Really? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. Because you can't fit anymore with four. That must have been hard no, to get the door open. That was it. Hard to get the door open, I bet. Pretty hard. And then the uh, the time I caught a, a kit beaver in it. I couldn't believe it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know how the hell he got in there. Yeah. Because the opening is only like Seven five by five, five or yeah. six by six or something. Seven by seven. Seven by, by seven. 40, yeah. Because in Canada you can use like a full size colony trap. Then you catch the whole colony in one day. Yeah. You can use ten inch and five foot long. But it's long. funny they would follow each other in there, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that is funny. But I guess if you stake off the street. They got no choice. Yeah. When we dropped my parents' dock, we used a couple call we had a couple colony traps and a couple float traps. And everything was full every time we checked it. Holy cow. Every day. Yeah. We would have everything was full. And my mother wasn't supposed to know. <laughs> my mother didn't know he's trapping. <laughs> my dad. My mother says, geez, ain't seen Joey in a little while. And Donnie. And my sister says, oh, they're here every day as soon as you leave for work. <laughs> <laughs> they're here every single day as soon as you leave for work. <laughs> and my mother's like, what? No. Oh, That's the time she wasn't too prone. 
Well, let's drop him there. <laughs> I think. I mean, we filled up every friggin' day full. And then the other thing was, we caught that massive beaver down. Oh my! I got a picture of that. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah, down like yeah, Gates that was, was a Gates Road. Yeah. I I don't know what that beaver thought because he could not have fit through that. I know it. Yeah, I remember Donnie just started laughing when he got to that beaver. It was huge. It, it could not have fit through that trap. No, no way. Its head just about fit in it. <laughs> well, that was the only one we got there, but I know there's more. Yeah, they still there? I haven't been down that road forever. Me neither. It's usually in disrepair. Yeah. Yeah, we were walking on pretty thin ice there, too. Bad. <laughs> Bad. I think we went through. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I bet if you come up here and you saw a game warden, he'd give you a permit to, you know, on Beaver. Yeah. To... Well, Bart said he'd pay us. Yeah, right. The Forester said he'd pay right. us, yeah. But you'd have to go to a game warden to get a permit, right, to... I don't know. I think you can trap on them now. I think they've changed the laws. <clears throat> yeah. I know they changed the law on distance from yeah. dams and houses. Yeah. Oh, you're talking like season? Like, yeah, noose, you know, trap and nuisance beaver. Yeah. If you got a special... The pass from the game warden service, you could trap them. You know, you wouldn't have to follow the general uh, trapping law. That's true. But I don't think you can trap right on a house. I, you know, I think it's still a distance there. You have Is to it? be. But, yeah. But dams, I think you can trap yeah. right on them. Yeah, because I think Jesse was telling me how easy it is to just blow a dam out and yeah. set up on it and become a fixer. Have you talked to him about how well he did trapping this year? No. But this year we got to have a mission of trapping. we got to fill this full I don't know how we're going to do it. We're building so many places this fall. We're just going to take time and do it. That's all you can do. We're going to set our priorities different. <laughs> we'll build up to October 1st or whatever season. Yes. <laughs> It's usually like October 15th or 18th. Yeah, it's the end, towards the end. Yeah, or like early fox and coyote. Yeah. One thing about it, when people come up here, they bring a lot of alcohol with them. Wicked. Well, you find a lot of cans. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Look behind the street signs. They try to hit the sign. Right, yeah, bullet holes in every sign. Yeah, and a bottle behind it. Yeah. Did Clayton Lake area get a lot of activity from people, you know, fishermen. Uh, Just the loggers. Yeah. Yeah. Couple camps here and there, you know. Yeah. But guys, I think, from Vermont were deer hunting. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't see many people over there. I remember they friggin' after September 11th, they come out with a lot of money on the border. And I got, one day I got checked by I think four different wardens. No kidding. <laughs> they, re they released a bunch of money to the warden service to <coughs> check the border and I was trapping the border. And I got checked by four different wardens. Wow. Wardens. Oh, I see. They were looking for illegals. Yeah, they were looking for illegals crossing, but I'm the only guy they saw all day. Yeah. Because there's no one else up there. I got a bag full of Martins. Uh, <laughs> these guys never checked the trapper with a Martin before, so they were excited. Yeah. You know, they brought these guys were like from all over the state. Yeah. Come to work the border. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd always, because I any Martin fisher I caught or weasel, I'd I'd spray with Raid. I put it in a trash bag and spray Raid in there. I oh, just, to that, get the fleas. Yeah, I had flea and tick remover, and it smelled nice. Huh. And uh, I would just zip, you know, zip the bag up, right. open it up, and it would be puffed up. Yeah. 
and it'd kill all them little red fleas. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, because they were awful. Really? Oh, awful. Huh. Yeah. I don't recall ever seeing. Well, you never caught a martin. So. Uh, yeah, we caught. <laughs> we didn't catch many, you yeah. know, but we did catch them. Yeah, they're pretty awful. Uh, huh. It's like a little, it looks like a cat flea, but maybe a little longer legs and they're red and kind of see through. Huh. Yeah, and they're just awful. Like, you can tell a trapper because they got a million bites from here down. I'll be damned. Yeah, but once I started doing that with a raid, yeah. I didn't have any problems. Yeah. But I remember the wardens would, you know, oh, you're trapping, you got any fur? They go, yeah. You know, a couple of my, oh, I gotta see those. Yeah. You know, right. <laughs> you know I'll bring them out of that. So I'd pull them out of the bag, and then, of course, they'd smell it and be like, right. well, why do you got it in this bag? I go, I put some pretty strong chemicals on them. They'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> It was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, now if you run in a, say, a long line of traps down through this, down through here, you know, with those special traps you need for mountain, right? you, you need a truck to carry all this stuff. It'd almost be worth bringing them in on a snowmobile right now. <clears throat> yeah, and Drop just them place them around. I know it's not like you could put a five gallon bucket I mean, with you six just traps. can't throw them in a pack basket yeah. and go. I was thinking if you're doing Martin boxes, you build them all down there and put them in the, your snowmobile trailer. And oh, bring yeah. them up and un unload them here and then fill your truck up for, your, for the day when you're going up to do your set. Or We'd have to. Yeah. But he's talking about like we want to run a line in the woods. Oh, yeah. yeah. How the hell would you get six traps down there? Yeah, you couldn't. Yeah. Get down through there. You'd have to leave them in. Wire. Yep. Did you tell Stevie we saw a mountain coming in? Yeah. Oh, did you? Nice. Uh, yeah. Good. Right there by the bridge, the, the first, first bridge. Road. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we know where to put a trap. Yeah. It's around. Yeah. I don't know if they stay in the same area. How long they stay in an area, but. Oh, uh, forever. Food. Forever, pretty much. I mean. By the brook, yeah, we, forever. You know, other animals. Yeah. I don't see a lot of red squirrel up here, but there's not a lot of green growth either. Mm. <clears throat> I think we'd do well to catch. Yeah. Some I mean, and catch some a fit a fisher. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, coyotes pretty promising. There are some coyotes. <laughs> right. right. Maybe pick up fox. It wouldn't suck to have like from longest to shortest right on that wall above your head like a coyote, a fox, a fisher, a yeah. martin, mm. a weasel, like in order. Maybe even a muskrat. Yeah. I was thinking too, hang them. <coughs> Jesus, hang them from there. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, doctors, now, nowadays, do you own a gun? That pissed me off. I yeah. said, what business is it of you, yeah. whether I own one or don't own one? Yeah. yeah. See, no, I mean, I don't, I don't. That, that's a crazy question to ask. I, would, I wouldn't answer it. I didn't. You know, I they give you a sheet of paper. I don't know. I'm, I leave it blank. Or yeah. Yeah. Oh, they ask you a paper now? They oh, yeah, ask. you fill out a Yeah, they used to ask me a lot. Yeah, they, they've asked me all that before. Yeah. They asked that. I, don't, I don't want to answer that one. So does it, does it, um, yeah. does it count if I stole it? <laughs> does it count if it's stolen? 